Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have some grumpy sunshine romance recommendations for you. Baby, baby. I am in love with grumpy sunshine romances, I love them so much, okay? And I'm so excited to do this video today because it is actually a collaboration. Samantha from Books with Samantha asked to do a video with me and we decided to do recommendations on Grumpy Sunshine. So be sure to check out Samantha's video that's going to be linked down below as well as just her channel in general because she is amazing. Please go subscribe to her. I can't wait to watch her video and to get even more recommendations because I... I eat up these recs, I'm not kidding. I have already made a Grumpy Sunshine Romance rec video in the past, I wanna say maybe about a year ago or more. And so that video will be linked down below as well if you want even more recommendations. I love this trope so much, so I will take all the recs that I can get. So please leave them in the comments. So let's get started. I have 10 recommendations to share with you today. We're gonna to start out with our contemporary romances first. Um, and for this one, we're starting out with one of my favorites from the year which is Broken Vow by Sophie Lark. This is her fifth book in the Brutal Birthright series, which is a mafia romance series. And oh my gosh, this one is so good. It's also a bodyguard romance, which is another trope I'm absolutely in love with. <laughs> this is the fifth in a series. You can technically read it as a standalone. However, I feel like you'd love it so much more if you've read the other books in the series because the two main characters in here have been in previous books. This is the romance between Raylan and Riona. So Riona is a lawyer and she works for her father who is a mafia man, a mafioso. And um, at the beginning of the story, she is almost killed, almost unalived. Her family decides to bring in Raylan who is going to be her bodyguard until they find the attempted killer. And Raylan is the sweetest ever. He's a sweet cowboy. He would do anything for Riona. He's completely smitten with her. And so this is the grumpy sunshine where the hero is the sunshine and the heroine is the grump. Riona is a little bit closed off and jaded at first. Um, and Raylan definitely helps break down her walls. This audiobook is also fantastic because the narrator who does his voice, good. Good, good, good. This is definitely one of my favorite Grumpy Sunshine romances ever, so you need to read this one. Next, I have Everything For You by Chloe Lees. This is her also fifth book in her Bergman Brothers series. This is the romance between Oliver and Gavin. So Oliver is right here. He is the Bergman brother in this book, and he is totally smitten head over heels for Gavin. Uh, one of the reasons is he had a poster of him when he was growing up on his bedroom wall because Gavin is this giant soccer superstar. There's an age difference between the two. So when Gavin was a soccer superstar, Oliver was dreaming about becoming a soccer player. And so it's years later, Oliver is on the same team as Gavin now. And Gavin is getting to a point where his body is betraying him. He wants to play soccer, the sport he loves, way longer than his body is letting him. And so we deal with a lot of chronic pain in this book. Gavin is dealing with a lot of chronic pain. The whole discussion in here and that representation in this book was a freaking plus. There's one scene in here where um, Oliver is helping Gavin take a shower in a shower chair. And I was like sobbing because <laughs> I related to it so hard. So I freaking love this couple so much. So uh, this is definitely Grumpy Sunshine where Oliver is the sunshine and Gavin is the grump. Gavin is a little bit standoffish and rude to Oliver at the beginning because he sees Oliver as what he wants to be, what he wishes he could be, which is to go back in time and be in the body he was in when he first started playing. Um, to not hurt when he plays soccer, to be this energetic and to be this spontaneous, spontaneous, there we go, spontaneous, <laughs> I can't speak, spontaneous. Um, and so he's jealous, he's jealous of Oliver and Oliver is shocked. He's like, you're jealous of me? I've looked up to you my entire life. And so this is just a beautiful romance between these two guys. It is, it is fantastic. <laughs> Another Chloe Lee's book that I love that has this trope is The Mistletoe Motive. This is her Christmas romance and this one is so underhyped, like not a lot of people have read this one, but it is so good. This is the romance between Jonathan and Gabby and they both work at the Bailey's bookstore and they have very different personalities. They do not really get along. Gabby is totally into Christmas, wants to decorate, go all out, super fun, is super bubbly and energetic, and Jonathan is the complete opposite. He is a Christmas grump <laughs> and he doesn't want to decorate 
he doesn't feel like talking to Gabby. When he does talk to Gabby, it's very short and kind of rude. And so Gabby doesn't really like Jonathan because they are not on the same wavelength in a lot of things. Then the owners of the bookshop, the Bailey family, um, end up telling them that the business is basically going under and they decide to create this well jonathan and gabby decide to create create this competition between the two of them to hopefully get the bookstore back up on its feet and it's to have a competition between the two to see um i think it's um competing to see who can sell more books individually and then whoever the loser is in this competition has to quit and so they do not really get along. So Gabby is definitely the sunshine and um, Jonathan here is definitely the grump. But this Christmas romance is so sweet. We have disability representation in here in the form of, or chronic illness rep with the form of um, diabetes. And um, Gabby in here is autistic. So there's a bunch of great rep. Chloe Lee's books always has amazing representation. Another Christmas related romance, we're getting close to Christmas, so I thought I'd recommend some, um, is Stocking Stuffers by Erin McClellan. This is like another situation where one of the people in this situation is totally in for Christmas and the other one is like, bah humbug, no. So the heroine in here, Sasha, is the bah humbug. She goes to this b, &B to sell some of the products she is selling. There are certain kinds of products <laughs> I cannot talk about, <laughs> but she goes to this b, &B to sell these certain products and Perry is just so happens to be the sis, the brother, I'm so sorry, the brother to the woman who owns the B&B. &B. And so he walks in to spend Christmas with the sister and walks in on um, Sasha there and is completely taken by her and is like uh, wanting her number, wanting to get to know her. Sasha turns him down, uh, but then she gets stuck in the B&B overnight because of a snowstorm. And so the two of them are like, why not? Let's have some fun while we're stuck here. And so they do just that. So um, it's a grumpy sunshine where the heroine is the grump and the hero is the sunshine. He is totally all in for Christmas, loves everything about it. And Sasha's like, no, I don't need any decorations. I don't need anything Christmas related. Don't even talk about Christmas with me. Like, yeah, no, she has some past trauma around Christmas time. So um, that definitely gets explained more when you read the book. But this was so good. I love this Grumpy Sunshine romance. And there's a great groveling scene in here. Another Christmas one <laughs> is Wrapped Up in You by Dolly Hibbert. This is another situation where the heroine is the grump and the hero is the sunshine. And it's another like stuck blizzard romance. Can you tell they have a type of Christmas romance that I love? Um, so this is about William and Abby and they are like childhood friends. And William always goes to Abby's grandma's house with them to celebrate Christmas because he doesn't have the best home life. And so um, he's always spent Christmas with Abby's family. And this year, William has the plan to finally tell Abby his long, long feelings that he's had for her. The only issue is when he confesses his feelings, Abby does not believe him. Like she thinks that he's joking. And so while they're snowed in at her grandmother's house, he's trying to woo her basically. This book is so stinking funny like so funny. The grandmother is hilarious. She has like a billion cats and at one point Abby and William have to go out into the snowstorm to find a pregnant cat who got out and maybe had babies <laughs> in the snow. Like it's so funny. I freaking love it. And so yeah, William and Abby, total grump sunshine pairing here. Um, and I just freaking love these like types of dynamics around Christmas time, Christmas romances. It is it is so good. We're switching on over to Paranormal. This one is Blood Moon by Jillian Graves. Another one where the heroine is the grump and the hero is the sunshine, which is very funny because the hero in the situation is a vampire and the heroine is a witch. So normally it's flipped, right? Um, but I love what Jillian Graves did with this novella. It is so good. So this is about Hazel and Vlad. So Hazel is a witch and she owns this bar. She's been working a long time to keep her business that she's been wanting to have afloat. But then a new like club opens up across the street and is kind of taking her, her paranormal creature clientele. And she's not very happy. So one day off of work, she really wants to blow off some steam. Her friend is throwing this like monster, mythical paranormal creature party. And she ends up having a night with a vampire named Vlad. And it is, is good. Okay, it's very good. <laughs> but then afterwards she realizes who Vlad is and he owns said nightclub or runs said nightclub across the street from her and has been trying to steal her business and spy on her. And she's like, oh no, this is war. This is war. <laughs> but the two of them cannot keep their hands off of each other even though they know that they shouldn't be together. Vlad doesn't care. Vlad's like, um, I don't care. Like, I want to be with you. 
and Hazel's like no that's against my morals you cannot do that and yeah total grump is Hazel Hazel is a grump <laughs> but Bud definitely helps soften her up after a while for historicals we have the wallflower wager by tessa dare this is her third book in the girl meets duke series you can read this one as a standalone i feel like this series or tessa dare books are definitely ones that you can read as standalones even if they're in a series i personally like reading them in series order like she is very rare in the fact that like you don't need to read these in order honestly this is the romance between gabriel and penelope so penelope lives alone in this mansion house that her family owns and she's kind of made her house into an animal sanctuary she takes in animals that other people don't want or are injured and nurses them back to health gabriel ends up purchasing the house next door to hers and um is fixing it up and wanting to sell it at a higher profit but then he realizes who the next door neighbor is to this house and it's penelope and all of her many loud and chaotic animals and he confronts her one day and is like you can't be doing this like you're ruining my chances to sell this house she's like okay we'll make a deal i will get rid of these animals if you help me find good homes for them and so it's about them finding homes for all of these animals this book is so funny and it is so fun you have like an otter a goat so many cats like it is so much fun gabriel in here is definitely the grump a uh, penelope is a total sunshine i love them so much i feel like i'm saying that about every couple in here but i just love grumpy sunshine romances next is how to entice an enchantress by karen hawkins i own a physical copy of this book i can't find it for the life of me so it's gonna be on the screen this is the romance between dahlia and lord kirk they're actually next door neighbors lord kirk owns a house next to her family estate they like ran into each other one day when he was bringing some books home i think and they started talking about books and they became friends and she would come over and talk to him about books and check out his library and all that stuff and he one day like proposes to her and it's very much the scene of Darcy proposing to Elizabeth in Pride and Prejudice where he thinks he's proposing to her in the correct way but in reality he's totally insulting her with what he's saying during this proposal <laughs> and so that's what happens he completely insults her while proposing to her and she's like no not happening and so it's been a little while later lord kirk has also accidentally screwed over dahlia's father in a financial sense and so dahlia is not happy to be in any vicinity with lord kirk not happy with him at all like she thought they were friends and that they were close confidants and then after everything that he's done and said to her she's like get that man out of my sight but then dahlia gets invited to a house party by her godmother who's a duchess and lord kirk is also her godson um and comes to her for help and he's like i need you to help me I don't like asking for help but this is the last resort i need dahlia to fall in love with me i feel like she'd be a great wife i don't think i'd ever fall in love with her but i need a wife and i feel like she'd be a great wife i really want her to marry me and so <laughs> the duchess does some scheming i love these books the duchess diaries series because of the duchess's schemes in here anyway there's a lot more going on to the story than just that but definitely kirk is a complete grump he is one of the few survivors from this ship explosion that him and his now deceased wife was on his wife did not make it but he did and so now he walks with a limp and with a cane and has many scars all over his body and he is very jaded and has been very grumpy since then um which i don't blame him i bet your body hurts so much from something like that but dahlia is not taking anything any crap of his like no she is not taking any of it and so lord kirk has to go through some things to figure out how to be a more compassionate man and to be the man that Dahlia deserves. I also have two Aileen romances to recommend. Obviously this is my channel. We're gonna talk about Aileen romances. First is The Quarry Master by Amanda Milo. So Bash in here is our alien creature and he is trying to build a human settlement. Humans who have been illegally abducted from earth. He's trying to make a home for them. He's been hired to do that and so he is on this quarry to collect rocks and stones and everything to try and build this building. And he is the grump of all grumps okay and he um doesn't really like humans especially humans that have been asked to help him build said settlement because they complain a lot they ask to take many breaks and he's just like their work ethic is not great i don't like them but then one day he ends up meeting isla who is a new human woman to the planet and he is totally smitten with her and he's mad he's like why am i interested in this human girl i don't like humans i hate humans and she's just like getting under his skin and i love it she is so sweet and just wants to basically kill him with kindness <laughs> 
and she is smitten with him too and she just wants bash to like kidnap her and take her away which is like a tradition with his alien species is when they find a mate they kidnap her and so she's like trying to spur him on so that he kidnaps her <laughs> and i just i love them so much and lastly i have using feho by victoria aveline this is another situation where the heroine is the grump and the hero is the sunshine this is her fifth book in her clickanian um alien romance series um and yeah in this series uh human women have been abducted from earth and are put on this planet called clickania and they have a tradition when it comes to like women on the planet and they have to be married like there are no single people they have to get married and so they have these marriage auction things where men present themselves to some women and women pick them out basically to be their husbands um and so feho has been trying to be a husband for quite a long time he really wants a wife our heroine here vanessa is a human woman who is actually wanting to find a husband for different reasons she specifically knows that she's gonna pick feho because she knows that he has a spaceship and he's like a space pirate that goes off world she's like if i can run away from him at one point during our trek or our ride or whatever i can make it back to earth she's trying to make it back to earth her sister is very ill and no one will like tell her that they could take her back to earth so she's like i gotta ski my way to do this and so she ends up picking feho feho's ecstatic because he's like i finally have a wife i finally have someone to take care of i'm so excited and vanessa's using him basically while vanessa is staying with him she gets to know him and realizes that she messed up like she really likes feho but she still has to go to earth but she cares for him like there's this balancing scale with do i choose feho the man that i am falling in love with or my sister who's dying like it's so hard and I'm gonna leave it at that for that book because I don't want to spoil anything but this book is so great I love the series this is probably my second favorite in the series anyways there you have it those are 10 grumpy sunshine romance recommendations for you please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and please be sure to check out Samantha's video I'm so excited to watch it and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me the angry emoji in the comment section down below <laughs> but anyways thank you all so so much for watching I will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.